Hey everyone, this is the fourth video from AutoCAD class in Architecture 215. First thing I'm going to teach you is the right click customization. We, we changed what our right click meant. We made it so that it was enter and um, re uh, repeat last command. So we do that by going up to tools, options. So when you click on that, uh, this right click customization button should be active, but I've already changed it so it, it goes off. If you click on that little check mark, it'll appear. Then you can click on the right click customization button. I want it to be repeat last command, repeat last command, and enter. When you do that, hit apply and close. Go back down here, hit apply, and then hit okay. And now whenever I hit the right click, it'll repeat the last command. I haven't done a command yet, so we'll show you that later. Or it just means the enter key. I teach you uh, one more thing in this video, and then I'll do part two of the video, because otherwise the video gets a bit long. First thing we'll do is text. This is M text or multi-line text. So I'm gonna click on this box right here, which is multi-line text. It says specify the first corner. So I'm gonna make a little text box. I'm gonna make it make my box about that large. And then this, this little text box pops up. Uh, if your text box is really big, we can deal with that. You just have to pull it in like this. This is how you pull in the end of it, and this is how you can pull up or down to make your box larger or smaller. So here it's ready for me to type, and I'm gonna be typing uh, using the Arial font, and I wanna use three inch text. All my small text is gonna be three. So I'm gonna type in something like uh, room size. Oops, I want to leave that as three. I want to go back into the command or to the text box and type in room size and then just hit OK. So there's a room size right there. And if I double click on this, double click on it, this box will pop back up again. Right now it's justified to the top left hand corner. I want to change this so it's justified to the middle center. So now if I, if I type some more, it would all be justified to the middle center, no matter what I type. I'm going to hit OK. I like that in the middle center. If I just single click on this thing, I can uh, these arrows allow me to adjust my text box again. So I can make this text box a little bit smaller or a little bit larger. Like that. That's what these arrows do. And if I grab this square, this is called a grip. And this is one way that I can move my text box around. So I can grab that grip and move this text wherever I want it to go. So what I want to do, I need to erase this text over here. I'm kind of anal, so I like to have my text centered in the room. So I'm just going to draw a line from there to there. The center of this point will give me the center of this point of this line will give me the center of the room. So I have I have endpoints, the grips on endpoints, and a grip on the midpoint. So you hear that noise in the background? It's my two-year-old with a squeaky toy. Kind of funny. Um, so I'll go back to this text here <laughs> and click on that room size and move that text location over here. So I click on that center grip and move it to the center of that line. That will put that text in the center of that room. Then I can just erase that line. If I double click on this again, I can just select the text, type it in caps, and type in master. That's at three inches. I actually don't want the text for the bedrooms at three, I want it at five inches. So if I double click on that again, I can go select the text, and then go type in five in the text size, and it'll pop a little bit larger. I also want to do my title over here. So I'm gonna copy this text, so CO for copy. And I want, to make, I want to make it look like this. So I want to double click on it again. And then uh, I want the, the large text at five inches. So I'll just call that main floor plan. And then I can hit the enter key. When I hit enter, it goes down to the second line. And I want to change this text to three inches. And I want to type in scale, three sixteenth of an inch to a foot, but whatever. I don't like stacking my fractions. So I'll just hit cancel. And then I hit OK. But I actually want this text to be justified to the top left. See, whenever I double, when I click on the text, the, wherever this square grip occurs, that's where it's justified to. So this text here is justified top left. This text here is justified to the middle center. I want this one to change to top left. So I go double click on it, select the whole thing, and go to my text justification and go top left and hit OK. That's how I can line, line this text up. Then what I do is, I'm, again, I'm kind of anal, so I'll just go draw a straight line. Go move my tech, grab that grip, and then move it to that endpoint. And erase that line. So there's the main floor plan. Um, I'll cover the rest of this stuff in part two. I'll just stop this video right now and uh, see you in part two. Salut!